we have consequences attached to the choices or decisions that we make. Look at John chapter 3 verse 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abided in him i like you to circle the word the wrath the wrath of god because we need to we need to do some work on that word wrath of god if you observe very carefully verse 36 the wrath of god is it god's action or man's action huh so that word wrath of god is man-made so the wrath of God, therefore, will be man removing himself from God's action. Remember, we are taking time also in the process of this to define the single character of God. God does not have a hidden agenda and God does not have the other side like they always say the other side of God. God only has one consistent character and that character of God is love. That character of God is life. That character of God is light. And even in judgment, what we call the wrath of God is man-made because the wrath is not in the action of God. The wrath is in the action of man towards the offer of God. So we have seen God's action. He sent his son. We have seen God's action. He gave life. So the wrath of God will be the absence of life. And will be the absence of his son. The wrath of God is in the love of God. Which means he does not have wrath. Because you only get the rod because his love is absence. The absence of God's love is what we call the rod of God. Just like darkness is not. Darkness is not. Because darkness only exists when light is absent. So it is light. But the absence of light is darkness. Darkness is what a man sees when he does not receive light. So let me ask you a very simple question. So is the wrath of God is presence or absence? All right, absence. In Genesis 2, if you observe, death is his absence. You won't find God and death in the same place until the sacrifice of jesus it was in the sacrifice of jesus that god accepted death on man's behalf until then and after then you will never find god and death having any business so death reigned before jesus died what gave death the opportunity to reign was man's attitude towards God's offer. Man's attitude. Don't forget the motions again. Wherefore, as by one man, sin and death by sin. Don't also forget, let no man say when he's tempted, I'm tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted of evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust. And then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And when sin is finished, it bringeth forth death. So man lost uncontrolled desire sin sin death all from man man the architect of his problem not satan man so if you observe carefully there will be no death in god because god says to man life death choose man says i don't want life i prefer death so the absence of life brought death 